Justin's HIV journal, and I had a doctor's appointment today. It was um, kind of bad. It was on the it's the eighteenth um, right now of November, and um, it was kind of an eye opener for me. Um, as some of you know, Doctor and he's an excellent doctor here in DC. He's really really good. He's a HIV specialist. Um, well, I, um, as most of you know, I'm on Reta, Estrada, and Norbeer, um, and that's three pills a day. Um, it turns out that my T-cells have dropped a little bit, um, but they haven't dropped a lot. I mean, they haven't dropped, a, like, you know, for me to have a AIDS diagnosis, um, but they've dropped, and, uh, and I kind of, did, I, of course, don't like that. They dropped from, I think, three something to uh, three to three hundred. So my T cell count right now is three hundred, which isn't really great, um, but it isn't bad. I'm still undetectable. My viral load is still undetectable, but having my T cell counts T cells that low, or you know, leaves me susceptible for you know all kinds of like little infections and things. I had just come in, I just come off of a cold, like a really bad cold. I think I had a touch of the flu, but I had my flu shot, so it wasn't that bad. Um, I think that that had something to do with my T cells dropping a little bit. Um, it was like, you know, it was, this, I guess, I got the flu, but since I got my flu shot, it wasn't that bad. Um, anyway, I, every single time I come back from the doctor, he gives me this markup, and this markup is pretty important, actually. It says my next appointment, which is February 12th, Friday at 9.45, um, and so, well, the thing is, it says, of course, I, I have high cholesterol, which runs in my family, but I'm um, also, you know, think the Rea has a lot to do with that, um, I believe, and um, so, you know, with the booster of Norbeer, it, it just heightens the cholesterol a little bit. Also, my bilirubin is a little high, but, you know, that's come with Reitez again, um, so that comes with that. Um, so, but I've lost six pounds, which isn't really good, <laughs> which kind of scares me because I'm only five foot six and a half. Um, I went from one, 142 to 141 to three... I mean, to well, three, to 136. So um, I've lost, since your last visit, you have lost six pounds. You are under nine pounds under your ideal weight. You are nine pounds under your ideal weight. So that's scary. Um, but my body mass is ideal. So um, it also says I have a vitamin D deficiency, which means I might have to drink milk or get a supplement for vitamin D as well. I have to change medications again. I mean, not again, but for the first time. I've only been on this medication for like, I don't know, two years and it's not, I guess my body doesn't like it. So um, now I have to go on a different medication and um, the doctor's recommending the doctor's recommending Trivada, Prezista, and Norvir. Prezista is a two pills, and um, Norvir's one, and Trivada's one. So I'll be taking four pills a day, other than my three pills I usually take a day. Um, it's just a little harder, I guess. But I'm going to have to be a little bit better um, about my diet and... Uh, habits and certain things I'm thinking about I think cutting drinking out altogether but you know that's a little hard for some of us I think that cutting out drinking altogether would probably be great but you know um, let's let's keep it real I'm probably gonna have like you know wine for dinner or some you know having a nice steak or something like that but I think that um, I think that uh, this is just it's just gonna be hard it's just gonna be hard um, but I know I can do it.
and I know that I have people behind me that support me and uh, all of you out there that have given me your support I really appreciate it and I'll still be here um, I just have to change my medication now and it's it, it it's just going to be really hard that's all and I don't want to have to change my medication. I I know I have to stay strong and have to do what I have to do. But um, you know, that's just that's just it. And it's kind of funny because World AIDS Day is around the corner. You know, it's on December first. I just know I can't give up. I have too much to live for. So, um, all of you guys out there with, uh, that are supporting me, your kind words, the words of inspiration and encouragement, I need them. And, um, you know, I need them. And I think that <clears throat> a lot of you guys out there that I, that know me, especially in the D.C. area, you know, you guys give that to me all the time, and I, and I, and I appreciate it very, very much. And... I wouldn't be here without without them. So, and my husband knows about it, and he's okay with it. He's he's also saying, well, he didn't like the red test anyway because it made my eyes yellow. So, um, you know, I was going around under a black light, looking like you know a vampire or something, <laughs> or a werewolf or something. So he says, you know, we need to cut out the red test anyway, and plus. Resistant might be better for your body anyway. I mean, it might be just what your body likes, and um, might be able to give you know give your T cell counts a boost. Also, the vit the vitamin D supplement will only help you, and um, my doctor is recommending that because he says that a lot of his patients he's also recommended a vitamin D supplement, and their T cell counts have gone up a little bit. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna try it. We're gonna stick in there. So. Um, I just want to say thank you guys and um, um, thank you all for your kind words and I appreciate it. Um, that's it. <laughs>